Now let us talk about the third law of motion. Well, it is called Newton's third law of motion. From the first and second laws of motion, we have seen how a force acts on an object. But does this mean that the object just sits back and takes the effect of the force? Or does it react? This question leads us to the third law of motion. But before we state what it means, let me ask you this question. Now, if you used a stick to hit a tire that's on the floor with a strong force, what do you think will happen? You'd notice that the stick will bounce back, right? It will also feel like the tire pushed the stick back with a force. Now, in reality, the tire is also exerting a force on the stick as you hit it. Sir Isaac Newton was able to observe this effect, and this leads us to the third law. Newton's third law of motion states that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Now, this is also another reason why if a car is parked by the roadside and another car hits it, the car at rest will be damaged. But what you notice is that the moving car is also affected. It looks like the car that was at rest also hit the moving car with a force. In fact, as the law suggests, the car that was at rest will also hit the moving car with a force that is equal but opposite to the force that it was hit with. Another example of the third law of motion is the reaction force that repels an artillery cannon when it fires a bomb. Now what you see is that the cannon moves backward as soon as it fires. As soon as the cannon fires the bomb in the forward direction, the bomb will also exert a force that is equal and opposite on the cannon. And this is why you will notice the cannon moving backwards. You may also know that the Earth's satellite, the moon, is constantly being pulled towards the Earth with the Earth's gravitational force. Now this is an action, right? So from Newton's third law, the moon also reacts by pulling the Earth with an equal but opposite force. This law can also be written as the action and reaction of a force by an object on another is equal and opposite. Take care, guys, and see you in another lesson.